we get lots of shares and stories from my students. You can read dozens and dozens over on my site. And I wanted to share this specific one. It was sent to us via email. We didn't even ask for it. Um, one of our 21 day nervous system tune up members from Sweden wrote this to us a little while ago. And the story was just so remarkable, all the shifts that occurred, which I know is possible. And I hear these stories from students, but to have it just written out in the way that she wrote it out was beautiful. And as I go through it, I will explain what is occurring and why these things are occurring. Um, the, the student's name is Elizabeth. I'm allowed to share her name. She is from Sweden um, and her English is impeccable. So let's start get started. So dear Miss Lyon, with this letter, I just wanted to say thank you for all your work. I have done the 21 day nervous system tune up seen every YouTube video, yes, every single one, and taken advantage of every resource on your site. Thank you for helping me help myself. I am now for the first time since fall of 2014, so I'm recording this in 2021, so since the fall of 2014, pain-free from fibromyalgia, symptoms of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is, um, something that's thought to be a disease where the the tissues, the connective tissue just isn't doing its job and there's this hypermobility in the joints. Um, but as we will see, it's clearly not something that is always there. It can be changed. So symptoms of EDS, um, menstrual cramps, and also um, more severe premenstrual pre distress plantar fasciitis which is if you think of your foot there is a huge tendon um it's it's a fascia it's some tissue but it's very um very susceptible to stress poor posture poor foot mechanics and it can get very inflamed and it can make walking painful so that's what plantar fasciitis is pots so pots is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Basically what this means is when we stand up, when we stand up, we want our blood pressure to match that shift in center of mass. We want the system to to maintain homeostasis. The heart rate's going to change. It's going to go up. The blood pressure is going to go up, but then it wants to, we want it to regulate. We want it to come back to a good flow. POTS, and this is just one example of what occurs, is when this postural tension, we would call it orthostatic tension and pressure, it doesn't find that flow. And the T in the POTS is tachycardia, which means elevated heart rate. So the, the heart just pounds and pounds and it doesn't go down. It is very uncomfortable from what I've heard. So this is another thing that um, she is free from, POTS, and much more. And she even says, yes, I have been diagnosed. I know now that all these symptoms come from a dysregulated nervous system. So again, just a reminder, pain-free from fibromyalgia, EDS, severe premenstrual cramps, plantar fasciitis, POTS, and much more. Hey everyone, Irene Lyon here. Thank you for watching this short video. If you want to watch the full length video, just click somewhere near here and be sure to subscribe to this channel as well as my full-length channel, Irene Lyon. Keep learning, keep healing. We'll see you next time.